Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. It's overcast today, so not too happy about that. Oh well, too bad, so sad. Um, yeah, I had to come out in town to make a video because I realized I was out of videos. I thought I had one in, in reserve, but no. No, I didn't have one, so. But the thing is, so I went, I come to Mickey D's to have a, uh, have a Coke while I make a video. Yeah, gotta have something to drink. And I can't always count. They used, McDonald's used to sell the best coffee, cup of coffee ever, okay? Not so much anymore. Anyway, I'm pulling through a drive through and I don't know, maybe I've been in Never Never Land lately, but has anyone noticed that there's, like, Chinese writing all over the McDonald's stuff? I happen to notice a chicken nugget tender box, and it has, like, Chinese writing on the side of it. I'm thinking, what the, what the... Why? And then I notice on the the menu outside, McDonald's logo is like this, right? The golden arches. Well, the logo here was McDonald's, but the the golden arches were upside down, and there was Chinese writing on the on the side of it. I'm thinking, has anyone else? seen that or am I am I just kind of you know losing my mind <laughs> which is totally possible but um yeah I just thought that was weird weird you know uh, so let me know if anyone else has uh, noticed that uh, I don't know how many of you guys go to McDonald's but I just thought it was odd that the the golden arches were upside down. That, mm, no, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, I don't know. Is there a movie coming out, a Chinese movie or something that that is is uh, with McDonald's? I don't know. I've been kind of out of uh, circulation lately. But anyway, that's one thing. And my shop hop starts tomorrow. There's one thing bad about the shop hop. Oh. Two things bad about the shop hop. Oh. I don't have anyone oh. to go with. You know, it's not going to be that much. It's going to oh. be fun. Yeah. But it's not going to be oh. as fun oh. as if I had someone to go with. Like oh. Stephanie and I oh. went one year. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Ah, don't we went one year and we had a blast you know we didn't spend hardly any money but we still had a good time and uh, uh, so I don't know even if she could go or not because she works and all that crap and everything so anyway um, yeah. but there's one shot I have of another shop hop in the shut up in the northeast in uh, September and October, and I, and and it's of uh, the New England states. And I thought, oh, ooh, that would be pretty. See the fall leaves, you know. Do some, you know, quilt stuff. Have the hot chocolate in the van. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could go for that. <laughs> um. But anyway, I, I, this is, you know, just as an update video and nothing special going on. I'm going to start out tomorrow. I might call my son and ask if I can have them, him and um, his friend, check out my uh, radiator because it's still, I can, I can move. And it won't get hot, but the minute I sit in one spot, you know, it starts creeping up. Like I said, it hasn't creeped up 
uh, to the three quarter mark at all. But I'm just not used to it moving at all. So I want to have it checked up before I go on my new adventure. <laughs> and I'm kind of sad that I, 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 I don't know what to expect. Um, there's a yarn crawl too and I may have to do some looking into that but I'm thinking maybe the yarn crawl would be more expensive thing to do because I mean like I can buy a fat quarter for two three dollars okay I don't know of anything I can buy in a yarn shop for two or three dollars except maybe needles and you only need so many needles so I might hit a a uh, a uh, yarn shop somewhere along the way and see if they know what it is and what what their thing is. It might be that I might do a double double one yarn hook yarn hook yarn hook <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. Um, but anyway, this is not going to be a long one because it took like three hours last night to upload that video, download it, upload, I don't know. But to get it to you guys, it was like three hours, so I don't want this one to be long. So I'm going to cut it short, but I will be checking in with you tomorrow to let you know how things start out on my chop hop. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, you should hear the prices. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's 75 shops in the state of Florida, all right? And if you have them all, your name gets put in, and you have them stamped and everything. If your name gets put in, and you, you got a chance of winning, like, awesome, awesome, like, a thousand dollar uh, uh, material thing, you know, thousand dollar worth of material. Oh yeah. <laughs> or a couple of there's a couple of sewing machine type things. There's one thing that I have no idea what it is. Uh, but then there's a gift basket, and then there's like five different kinds of of entries you can have if you do a full shop hop you get in the special one if you do a half shop hop you get into a, a smaller one but it's still a chance to win free prizes and uh, the one that gets me the most is <laughs> and you're not going to believe this but there's a shop that it's a bonus shop okay a bonus and to get a price in that category, you have to have the bonus shop plus a whole area, okay, of between five and 11 shops, which is, you know, no big deal, but, and guess where the shop is? Mm-hmm, 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 yeah, guess. Yep, Key West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my gosh! And half the shops on the 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 the, the east coast, west coast of Florida, I was just there a couple weeks ago, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that is so funny. So I haven't decided. I I probably will end up going to Key West again. I don't know. Lord help me. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> So, take it easy, take the long way home. Woo-hoo!